Oh, it could be a monster. Is he on there? Oh, 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 oh. oh. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin and Jay. We have got some awesome weather today for the middle of August. We have mm -hmm. overcast conditions. Yesterday we had a pretty serious thunderstorm that just came and wreaked a bunch of havoc all upon <laughs> the homestead and the lake out here. But that's all right because today we are gonna take advantage of the nice conditions and do some catfishing in a way that we haven't done so in forever. It yeah. feels like we're actually gonna be going out and setting some noodles right there with Jay's got. We got a whole <laughs> bucket full of noodles right here. We made these. I don't know, a couple years ago, and we use them periodically, but just not all the time. Most of the time when we do, like just, you know, going to catch catfish for food, we usually use, we usually use limb lines, but we decided to mix things up and we've got- Noodles. Yeah, we've got noodles. <laughs> we've got about two or three dozen of them. I think maybe two dozen. Looks more about two dozen of them, but we're gonna get some bait and we're gonna scatter them around out here in the lake and we're going to see what we can catch. Hopefully this all goes well. Hopefully we're able to catch some big catfish. Hope you guys are excited for today's episode. If so, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, Unless we get some catfish Let's today. Let's go. So we're out here looking to get some fresh bait. Shad is usually the best bait to use out here. So we're gonna throw this cast net around, see if we can get some. There's some out here flickering and at any moment could land on a big school of them. The water is very mur murky from the storm yesterday. So not able to visually see the schools, but we're just gonna throw around until we find some. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. First throw. I was not expecting that to be honest guys. But look at that. Wow. That's that all we a, need. That is a mess of bait right there. That is all we need. Hey, we got a gold shiner too. Look at that. That dude right there might be tasty. We'll definitely bait him up. Heck yeah. That is all the shad that we need. Let's transfer them into this bucket here. That right there should work, what do you think? Oh yeah. That looks super juicy, lively, and we got plenty of them. All right, let's load everything up into the canoe. Let's head that way, and let's see if we can catch the catfish. Okay, so we're out here on the lake now. We're about to drop some noodles out, but first let's show you how we have these set up. So right here we have a piece of a pool noodle, and attached to it we have some drop line, and then we also have a circle hook on it, and then at the bottom of the line, we have a weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of shad on the hook. Nice and slimy. We're gonna double it up. Then once you have your bait on there, all you do is just throw it out. And it will get, the weight will pull it down to the right depth and hopefully it will catch catfish. Hopefully so. Hopefully we get like two dozen catfish on these noodles. Yes. We have about 20 more noodles left, I think. So we're gonna throw them all out there and hopefully we can catch like 20 catfish. Okay, now we've got this big old live shiner baited up and we're gonna toss him out just right here. We are back here in some swampy stuff now. This looks good, looks really good. Normally we have better luck doing this at nighttime, but I'm thinking with the cloudy conditions and just with all the bait fish out here, that we're gonna have some success today. I can just feel it, I can feel it. noodles out now all we have to do is wait so I think we're gonna go inside for a little bit and then we'll come back out here and see how many we got I'm gonna throw this out there to 
chum up the water. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's nowhere near our noodles. <laughs> we have a big spread out, so surely we'll catch something. Yeah. All right, we are back out here. The weather conditions have changed quite a bit. The clouds are still kind of here for the most part, but it is very warm, very warm. But we're still thinking we might have caught some fish. We are pulling up to our first noodle and it seems very out of place. Um, hopefully there's a fish on it. Was that splashing? It's weird. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> it was out of place, but seemed like we would have had one. Okay, so I don't know if we're gonna rebate them or not. I think we're just gonna run through and check them all first. I'm just gonna set this guy back right here. And uh, if we don't catch anything, we'll contemplate rebating them. But if we catch them, we'll probably pick all these meals up because we would have already um, achieved our goal, which was catching some catfish for dinner. So I'm just gonna let the guy sit there for the time being. We're gonna go to all of these upcoming noodles and see if we caught anything. Okay guys, so we were uh, checking our noodles and we noticed the one that we baited the big shiner on was out of place. And I think we found it. It was this red one. Oh yeah. This, oh my gosh, whatever is on this, if he's still on there, traveled like 200 yards. Feel something? Mm. What's well, it feel we're like? caught in the lily pads. Just no. pull, just pull it up. Feel anything? I'm not feeling anything. Just pull it up. Uh. Oh gosh, yep, there's a fish. There's a fish on there? There's a fish. Oh man, is he huge? I don't know, caught in all these lily pads. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Whatever this Ooh. fish is, he ate like a seven inch shiner. Like not even lying. Are you gonna feel swimming? Mm. Does it feel like a fish or a turtle? I don't know. It's not really. Is it biting back at all? No, it's not moving. But I did feel something move for a second. Okay, well don't give it any slack. What would a swim is for? I mean, it came from all the way over there. It was definitely this red one. What if it's a 20 pound bass? Oh, she's standing up. He's a turtle. Where's it coming from? Do you feel like he's right underneath you? I don't know, maybe there's not a fish on here. You wanna feel it? Yeah, I wanna feel it. It feels like something's pulling back. Here. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't videoing you. Is that what it was? A catfish? Look at that. Here he goes. Woo! <laughs> Dang. First fish of the day is a nice channel catfish. Whoa. You just had to pull a little bit harder, Jay. I was pulling pretty hard. Wow, that catfish traveled a long distance over here to get stuck in these pads. That's, That's a really a good nice one. one. That's a really nice one. He ate that big old shiner. I wonder if you can still see the fish in there anywhere. Nope, I don't think he got it, or maybe he already swallowed it. This was definitely the one that had that shiner. That is so cool. That is a great eating size channel cat. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we were after today. I got excited though when you couldn't pull it up. I was like, man, we got a giant fish or like something giant, gigantic, massive turtle or something. I thought it was a turtle. But hey, that's what we were nice. after. That's what we were after. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. We'll throw them in the boat and we'll see if we can catch a couple more fish. Okay, this noodle's swimming. We just saw him swimming off. <laughs> Don't know what's on here. Don't know how big he is. Can you get to him? Why are you moving? Are we on a stump? Maybe you can, here, just grab the noodle with the stick. But there you go. What we got? Is it big? Big? Is it big? Uh, it doesn't feel big! Oh! <laughs> Hey! Ooh, a chubby one. A chubby bullhead. Well, what, hey. Have you ever seen a bullhead that wasn't chubby? I guess not. They're always stocky <laughs> looking little, little dudes. Not exactly what we're after. We're definitely, you know, after catfish. But we're after the big old channel cats. That guy's pretty good eating, but I think we'll probably throw him back. What do yeah. you think? Let's get a good look at him though. Look at that. It's a good size one. Yeah, you can tell it's a yellow bullhead because he has the white uh, chin barbels. Very unique to the bullheads. And because he's kind of yellowish colored. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Jay. We got two catfish on the board. Three. See you, boy. Woo. Good job. Number two. Okay, we just found one of our noodles way, way out there, and so we're gonna go chase it. Hopefully, there's a big fish on it. Yeah, I think that fish traveled further than the first catfish we caught. Yeah. Let's go get him. We are rapidly approaching our noodle. Let's see if Jake can get this one out of the pads. That first one was a little bit troublesome. You going left side or right side? Okay, okay here we go. 
Oh, it could be a monster. Is he on there? Oh. Oh, 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 oh swing him in the boat! Swing him in the boat! Woo! Woo Man, I was expecting it to be bigger than I that. I know! Not a bad one, though. This little dude traveled so far! Yeah. Holy That's exciting, cow. though. Man, it's so much fun. There's, there's, this is like a you know a totally different level of fun. Can I go chasing these noodles around? Man, hold that big guy up. That's a nice one. It is a nice one. About the same size. Maybe it's a smidge bit smaller. I think that yeah. This one's smaller yeah, than the first one. Yeah, that one's a little bit smaller. But that's a great eaten sized catfish. And I think that we have another one because I see another noodle that's out of place. So hopefully there's a fish on it. <laughs> Let's go chase them. All right, so this purple noodle is butted up right next to the base of this big cypress tree. Ooh, something's something's got that thing. I think. Can she do it? What's it feel like? Feel like something on there? Yep. <gasps> oh God! What is that? Oh! Oh! oh. It's another bullhead. Oh, he's dead though, isn't he? Is he? He looks dead. Is he alive? I think he's alive. Oh, he just looks like a well? zombie almost. I don't know. Maybe I don't I either. he's dead. Well, if he's dead, we'll take him. <laughs> Circle hook done got him. Right where you want him to get him though, right in the corner of the mouth. Hey, bullheads ain't bad eating. We'll take him. That's three catfish, we're doing good. And this noodle here is like kind of pulled up next to the tree too. But I'm fearful they might have another bullhead. The bullhead's uh -oh. like the swamp. It's not really moving around like a big old channel cat. It's really not moving around at all. We'll see, let's go. Ain't no wasp nest, is there? I uh, don't see any. <laughs> you gotta be careful when you're doing these limb lines or running these noodles underneath these trees because these wasps can get all up in them. And they will jack you up. I can't tell. Oh, we oh. got another! What the heck? He's dead too! What? What the heck? Called that though. I told you. Might have another bullhead. Why are they dying? He swallowed it a little bit more. Yeah, he swallowed it pretty good. <laughs> Bait's still on there though. Why are these dudes dying? That's like never happened before. Uh-uh. It's weird. Bullheads are usually pretty hardy, but hey. Another catfish. He was going to die anyways, I guess. <laughs> or maybe not. We probably would let him go. But hey, we got two bullheads and two channel catfish. We're doing good. I mean, this is kind of a lazy man's fishing. Well, it's not that lazy, but you know, not a whole lot goes into it. You just got to get your bait, throw your noodles out, relax, and then just come get your fish. <laughs> It's it's a it's a fun form of gro grocery shopping. How about that? We'll yeah. say it like that. A fun form of grocery shopping. If you like catfish. Man, this is so pretty out here too. Yeah. And a lot safer to come out here instead of going to the grocery store. Grocery store you're gonna get germs. You know, the germs you don't want. Out here you might get a little bit of duckweed on your hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a catfish slime. This one doesn't look too crazy. Yeah. Well, you never know. You might be able like, to pull it next to a log or something. Here, let's see. Can you reach it? Nothing! Uh, Still got our bait, uh, I think. No? No. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I'm pretty sure we've checked all of the noodles now, uh, unless there's one that has swam off, you know, out of sight. But hopefully we'll find that one if that is the case. We'll go back and make sure we have all of them accounted for once we um, get through scanning the area. But we caught five catfish. That's pretty good. You know, we caught yeah. three bullheads, two channel cats, and um, you know, I guess we should have kept that first bullhead. We could have had five total catfish on the boat, but that's okay. Four is good. Plenty for Jay and I to cook up for supper. But you know, that was the goal of today's video was to come out here, show you guys another form of catfishing and another great way to do some organic grocery shopping. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that we don't have any additional catfish on these noodles. And if we don't, then we will see you guys back at the house and we will begin processing these fish for the dinner table. Our catfish have been on ice for a little while and they are ready to be cleaned. So let's get them out of the cooler. Let's get them cleaned up and ready to eat.
Got the fish all cut up, now they're ready to be cooked. We have our fries, we have fresh okra from the garden, and we fried it, and we have fried catfish, mm. and it looks really dang good. Really good. <laughs> Another one of these all fried meals, but that's okay. We don't eat this all the time, so it's nice when we get to sit down and just indulge in all of our favorite fried foods. Let's give this thing a taste test okay. and go with the catfish. Catfish. This stuff is always good. This is the beer battered uh, Bass Pro Shop Uncle Buck's fried seasoning, fish fry seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's always so good, and this catfish is fresh. It's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. Dang. Oh. That stuff never fails. Always good. Can't go wrong. That's delicious. Let me mm. get a little bite of this okra while we're sitting here doing this. Real good. I was a little bit worried, so I picked the okra today. And it was like <laughs> it was super big. Mm. You know, you're supposed to pick them. It's kind of small. It was really big. But hey, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I sure am <laughs> glad whenever a plan comes together. Yes. You know, we anticipated being able to go out there and catch a few catfish, but that's never a guarantee. We had good bait, set our baits up in good spots, and we did catch some catfish. And we cleaned them up, cooked them up, and, and it was they're a delicious. Perfect amount for dinner. Yeah, perfect amount. We have a little bit, probably a little bit of leftovers. Maybe we can eat some tomorrow, or if we just get hungry later on, it's just the perfect amount. But anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this little catch and cook, little catfish and mission. I know some of you guys in the comment section have been wanting us to go out and do some pool noodling for these catfish, so glad we could deliver that. Hopefully we can go back out and catch some even larger catfish in the future. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, give this video a like, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any of the future catfish in action. We're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.